Last week, we discussed the problems with Piers Morgan's dismissal of Meghan Markle's claims about her mental health. Now, that moment on Good Morning Britain and the row that ensued with weatherman Alex Beresford the following day has become the most complained about TV incident in Britain's broadcasting history. As of this week, Ofcom, the UK's communications regulator, have received over 57,000 complaints about Morgan's behaviour. Let's take another look at the controversial moment in question. So OK, again, let's have the names. Who did you go to? What did they say to you? I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, that's a I wouldn't believe it if she read me a weather report. And the fact that she's fired up this, this onslaught thoughts. against our royal family, I think is contemptible. And I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this programme, a number of times. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry, no. Oh, Sorry. Do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, maybe not my no, own. No, 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 no. See you later. I'm being... Sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. You, he, I'm sorry, but Pierce spouts off on a regular basis and we all have to sit there and listen. 6.30 to 7 o'clock yesterday was incredibly hard to watch. Now, the outrage obviously was caused by someone going on television. Someone has opened up and talked about their, their mental health difficulties, talked about feeling suicidal, and Piers Morgan has, has stood in, you know, on, on national television in front of millions of people and saying, I don't believe a word of it, which is not really what is, is particularly a, a helpful message to be putting out there. And obviously, lots of people have been very upset and offended and outraged by it. Um, Owen, I'm, I know you'll be equally outraged about Piers Morgan's comments there. I want to know your thoughts on, you know, whether or not you're surprised at quite how big the public backlash has been to that. It's now the most complained about TV event ever. I'm not actually, no, because, look, we know there's a massive groundswell of racism in this country. We know that a lot of that manifests itself as widespread hostility to Meghan Markle. I think on the issue of mental health, there is actually quite a large a large grouping in British society uh, who, because of their own lived experience, are just likely to take it far more seriously. One in four people, uh, is the statistic people will be familiar with, um, go through some sort of mental distress in their lifetimes. Um, and, you know, suicides have increased in 2019, the highest for two decades amongst men. Uh, and you know, five and a half thousand suicides. Uh, so huge numbers of people, you know, have have been affected. They know people who who've been affected by suicide, or or directly people close to them as uh, as well. I mean, for women, it's interesting because the biggest killer of men under forty five is suicide. But that doesn't mean, obviously, it's not a problem amongst women. In fact, I looked at the statistics before I came on for women under twenty five. It's increased by ninety three point eight percent since twenty twelve. So, I, you know, I do think what we should do, rather than just, I suppose, outrage, uh, which is understandable, and, and I, you know, I think the groundswell of anger is because a lot of people are affected by mental health, is I think we should try and shift the debate onto the fact that mental health services in this country are woefully under-resourced. Um, under the coalition government, they claim there'd be parity of esteem, that physical and mental health would be treated equally, but of course, neither are properly resourced in this country. Uh, we've seen with COVID, uh, obviously, what an under-resourced NHS uh, does. But in terms of the mental health crisis, look, people with suicidal ideations go to their GPs and they're often put on waiting lists for months to get to get help, even when they're in the midst of a crisis. They don't get the support they need. And that can have, obviously, catastrophic uh, consequences. Uh, for anyone who knows anyone who's gone through a serious crisis they know just the absence or the patchwork of support that exists in this country the you know it's, it's like a lottery depending on what where you live often uh, it depends if your gp how much training they have on the issue so i think that's what we should be talking about uh, as well as the stigma i mean you know women are far more likely or significantly more likely than men to suffer mental distress men are far less likely to seek help though which is one of the reasons suicide is so high a lot of that is, is stigma attached to how masculinity is interpreted by lots of people. Uh, it's seen as weak and unmanly to seek help. 
So I think those are the discussions we need to have. I think it's it, the problem with this is it all gets thrown through the prism of culture war. It gets through the you know the prism of the of the Pierce Morgan never ending pantomime. When actually I think we should be using this moment to be talking about a massive mental health crisis, which by the way disproportionately affects various people, as the Samaritans point out. Uh, the poorer men are 10 times more likely to die of suicide than more affluent men. Uh, people from uh, people of colour are far more likely to suffer from mental uh, distress. LGBTQ people are far more likely to suffer from mental distress. So I think these are the deba- these are the discussions we need to be having rather than falling into the trap of here's another culture war, here's the Pierce Morgan show, when actually I think there is a broad sympathetic coalition in this country who are open to hearing about the crisis of mental health services uh, and, and, and what we actually do about it. I think that's where we need to move on to. 